I'll be showing the brand new site, Special Education and Accessibility Resources for Remote Learning. We just launched this site. Now first off, there's a whole new section around supporting this new model of delivery for remote special education. Things like teachers as consultants, connecting with students and parents, creating accessible content and data collection. So in this example, I'll switch to this tab on teachers as consultants right here. And you can see the way it's structured is there's content, but also these short little one to two minute videos that are really easy and practical to get up and running. So you can see we've embedded these right onto the page. If I go to the data collection tab, so back here you see data collection, let's go in there. You can see the same thing, data collection using Flipgrid or Microsoft Forms or these short little videos explaining exactly how to do things. We have a section on connecting with students and parents. So remotely as a special education teacher or someone who has accessibility needs and you're working with the parents and students, many different ways, whether it's virtual office hours, Teams or Flipgrid. And then creating accessible content, really important during remote learning. So you can see all these ways that are these built-in and free, non-stigmatizing tools to create accessible content. Now back on this main page, I'm on the main page here. If I scroll down further, there's these supports for students. And this is really, really nice. Reading, writing, and math, executive function, speech and language, hearing, mobility, vision. These are the core Microsoft accessibility areas. But again, if I go to reading, writing, and math right here, I'll switch to the tab. We've got all of our pieces of content and training and tips right in here. Speech to text dictation, the immersive reader, word prediction, live captions, and each of these has this short little embedded video. Things like speech language and communication, those are all baked in here. We've got hearing, mobility, sight, vision. We even have a set of pages and videos around second language learners. And so if you have the parents of the special education students or parents of students that have accessibility needs, Again, all of these things are built in for English language learners or non-native speakers. And at the bottom of the page, there's a couple of categories, including inclusive practices for all learners. So accommodations right here at the bottom, I'm gonna click on that. And again, there's a lot of reading accommodation, writing accommodation, executive function. All of these pieces are really, really covered deeply in that site. So that's a quick tour of the brand new special education and accessibility resources for remote learning. This is one of the best sites I have ever seen and I encourage you to use it and share it.